Hello, I'm Michael Tardy. I'm working with breast imaging at uh, Hiromi and the College Australia Nord. And today I would like to talk about malign segmentation. So we're looking on those uh, breast X-rays, which are the most common exam for the breast cancer screening. And we are trying to figure out where the malign regions are. Sometimes it can be quite simple, but usually it's not that obvious and the malign regions can be hidden uh, by the whole bunch of dense tissue. And to add something, we working with images which are quite big, it's about 4 by 3 k pixels, and uh, the actual findings we are looking to uh, could be quite small and uh, be something around 100 pixels square. So traditional brute force approaches might not be efficient and to cope with that we propose two-step training approach. Uh, the first step is, is inspired by the work of Zhu presented at the last Mikai and consists of self-supervised reconstruction training and the second step is a fully supervised training uh, focused on the malignancy extraction. So in the first step uh, we aim to initialize the weights of our unit reconstruction model uh, as in the best possible way and uh, similar to Zhu we introduced different kind of transformations like in painting, outpainting, Gaussian noise uh, but we also added uh, in gamma intensity modification and also uh, random shaping painting meaning we in addition to the square shapes in painting we're adding polygons, circles and stuff like that to increase the reconstruction capability and we also uh, adjusted our unit to deal with uh, high resolution images uh, we added short skip connections, we added separate convolutions instead of regular ones to reduce the number of weights and we also added liquid reload activations because we worked on the smaller data set compared to like everybody else's. The whole thing is trained with a regular L2 loss and once the whole thing is sufficiently trained we can switch to the next step which is actually the fully supervised malignancy extraction. But instead of training our unit to do segmentation as uh, for instance Zhu proposed in his work we continue to follow this reconstruction training uh, by adding the difference layer on the top of our unit and we actually uh, allow to reuse reconstruction performance efficiently and uh, use this difference layer as an implicit abnormality detection and by consequence we obtain something that is much more interpretable and especially more sensitive and as we can see here we uh, have an output where it contains straight the uh, classification and masses straight away without the need of any kind of preprocessing and compared to the traditional segmentation training I mean something with like segmentation output we obtain a result with, that does not need any kind of uh, post-processing to be interpretable and uh, our numbers are comparable to the state of the art uh, especially noting that we having higher resolution images and we have both masses and classifications and one of the interesting things that our training is actually much more smoother and compared to the probability based training is actually higher and the coolest thing is the sensibility of our network to both masses and classifications and the resolution remains quite high definitely smaller than the original images but um, I mean kind of acceptable with regards of the findings we are looking for so if thank you for your attention and uh, see you in the QA session bye